So what are the main requirements uh, of my uh, to to achieve uh, or to or to make a good uh, learning uh, uh, process? First of all, I have to digitize the practical syllabus from traditional way to smart digital way. Solving the technical issues of, convey, of conveying the online lectures. Maintaining the students' concentration, concentration and interaction during the lecture. And the fourth thing is fair student evaluation in the virtual system. As we are giving a lecture, a lecture or a subject, so there must be a fair evaluation to all students um, with, a, with a good evaluation system. Okay? So... Let's try. Let's see how can we solve these problems. First of all, to digitize the practical syllabus, any new ed any, any educator must have the online educator principles. He must have or he must use LMS learning management system. LMS is a very important uh, system to use, like Moodle, Blackboard, the Microsoft Teams, Google Classroom. However, you use it. In Corona or uh, or after Corona, you must use an LMS in your uh, university. So uh, as you will use LMS, you will be able to create e-content with references to different e-books. So uh, we had problem in Egypt that we uh, teach teaches our teach our students with handbook hand uh, hand uh, hand papers or uh, give uh, give. Uh, um, um handouts so uh, the handouts only is not enough in digital learning and in virtual learning we have to use different references you have to give them many books or ebooks to learn from the second thing is to enhance your content with related youtube video links youtube video or or, or vimeo videos or anything that can enhance what you are telling your students because you are not face to face so you you must give them something to elaborate uh, your idea uh, using interactive shared whiteboard for sure whiteboard is very important to, uh, when you use a uh, moodle or blackboard or whatever you will use uh, you will have for sure this whiteboard and you can write on it and you must use this way uh, as we use in uh, face to face interactivity uh, sharing rich animated PowerPoint presentations. Rich animated PowerPoint presentations is very important and they can grab attention to what you say to your students. So um, the second thing is how to solve the problem, the technical problem of uh, internet connection and so on. Actually, I tried to do two approaches. The first is the synchronous learning, recording, and sharing. After I, I, I give my lecture, actually I record it and re-share it to my students again because I'm not sure that all the students had listened to uh, my lecture at the moment. And actually, I don't care if my students are uh, with me in the lecture 100% uh, or 50% because I record the, the lecture and I'm, I'm, uh, I think my student will my students will uh, hear it again or uh, revise it again. So when I use synchronous learning, recording and sharing, it was very effective uh, with my students. The other way of uh, solving this problem is a synchronous learning by producing simple videos. I, I, have, I have been using simple videos to elaborate a lecture or a lesson or a practical lesson. So I use uh, like, uh, I, I acted like a YouTube influencer. So uh, I have been uh, recording myself uh, standing in front of a camera and um, and uh, talking about a lesson and elaborating some uh, ideas with graphics and so on. So it was very effective to um, to give my students good interaction and good uh, information. But for sure, when I do this, I consider the copyright issues of uh, any any media I use or music or whatever. Okay, so this is this was a, a way to solve the problem of is the technical problems of internet connection or uh, cutting uh, connection. Maintaining the students' concentration and interaction. This part actually 
is 50-50 between a student and educator. The lecturer is responsible for keeping the students alert and concentrating during the lecture, but also the student is responsible for keeping himself alert. So it's a 50-50 uh, equation. It's an equal responsibility on the educator and the student to make a successful virtual learning experience. So if I'm if I'm doing all the good ways of uh, of teaching and the, and the student is not alert and the student don't want to learn, so actually the process will drop. But we have to to be both responsible to make it successful. Next. I'm sorry, I think I hanged out. Somebody, I will share again. Okay. Yes, sir, it's clear. It's clear now? Okay. Yes, sir. So maintaining the student interaction and concentration from the educator side. I'm now talking from the educator side. Uh, engage your students with activities and make your content in interesting to let the students stay alert. These are two points very, these are the key words of making good or successful learning system. So um, I, I have been using some multimedia applications that could help to uh, make good interaction and good uh, uh, engagement to my students. So I will let you see some examples of these applications that, have, that I have been using, and you can apply it in your lectures also. However, they are virtual or even in face-to-face -face, uh, lectures. So um, as I show you these applications, I will give just a, a, a short brief and I will show you a video of a short video of how to use uh, the application uh, briefly. So uh, one of the one of the greatest uh, applications that I have been used or websites is quizzes. It's a, uh, I have been for, used uh, the free versions of all these websites and all the features are for free. So I have been using the free options only. So quizzes is a very good one to make a, a gamification uh, learning system to your students. You can uh, make um, a qu questions and the quizzes and so on with a gamified uh, interface. So the student may get uh, a new um, experience and a new approach to uh, what you are th saying to him. Okay, so I will show you now a short brief about Okay, sir. Now oh, uh, I'm gonna explain to you how to use quizzes. Uh, just you have to log on uh, first um, using anything, whatever Google or Microsoft account. Then you can log with your email. Or... So um, I have a recent activity here, uh, some questions. So I, if you want to create a quiz, just to go and create a quiz like this, then you name it whatever you want. So if I want to make a graphics quiz, for example, graphics quiz. So uh, next, I, can, I have to choose uh, a category. Maybe it's in arts or in design. Next, here you can do your own um, yourself questions, or you can search for questions from different uh, ready-made questions. So I will write graphics quiz, and you will search for it. Here are so many graphics quizzes, computer graphics quizzes that you can search for. So what are the two main different types of digital graphics? You can add this one. What make a plaster image? You can add this one. Maybe you can add this one also. Maybe I can go to another one, another question, a bulk of question, and I choose another one, and I can use this one also. Let's say these are my questions that I want to make a quiz with these questions. So the next step is to make it with a timer. Then you have to 
publish it if you want publish just add an image to the quiz it's in English university public and visible to everyone and you can choose uh, choose the uh, advanced options so you can copy the link and add the link to your friends or your uh, uh, students so now if you already have a quiz a ready made quiz here you here is one here if you want to see how the quiz works Here is two, so here you get the score. It's a very, very effective one, and the, and the students can play with their mobile phones. Okay. So this is a short brief about uh, application like uh, quizzes. As you see, you can add your questions and uh, after your lecture, for, for, for example, and you can um, just um, make it like a game. So your student, when you share the link with him, you can open the link on his mobile phone and play the game and uh, and uh, and solve the questions and they get a score and he can get a score among his his other colleagues and um, uh, and we can see who is the highest rank and who is lower and so on so uh, this one is a very effective one and by the way there are many other websites that can act the same like Kahoot and, and many other applications but I, this is for example one of the good examples in making gamified uh, question bank. So next, please. Okay. The other application that I've been using is Flippity. Flippity is a very nice application or a very nice website that give us gamified uh, many games. You can play many games in this, uh, in this application. So um, I have been using it to making a random selection. When I have uh, 30 or 40 students in my, in my class, I make this wheel and uh, the fortune wheel, I, I just select a name or whatever to reply to my question and so. So all the students had to be alert to my lecture because they know that, when, that maybe their name uh, is shown on the fortune wheel. So they had to be alert all the time to what I'm saying. So uh, please, the next... Uh, Next, uh, next slide. I will show you how it works also. So, no, no, um, the slide before, it's about Flippity. Yeah. Just a plate, yeah. So uh, this is the second uh, website that I have been using for uh, interactivity with students. It's flippity.net. Uh, this is a very important um, website to make some games, some short games to students. Uh, maybe it's just uh, simple games, but it's a very effective way to grab the attention of your student and uh, engage him. So I have been using one of the options and well, one of the games. It's a flippity random name picker. If you have a student, maybe um, 20, 30, or 40 students uh, in your class, uh, or I mean virtual class, you can randomize their names and ask them uh, randomly. So they must be alert to, uh, to, uh, to, to their names to answer you when you ask them. So if you want uh, simply to make... Uh, the flipping the flippity random name picker you just uh, you go to instructions and you put the names of your uh, school students maybe George, Ahmed, Samir, uh, 
this wheel so just uh, you click the wheel like this and run randomly it will pick a name so then it now will uh, answer my question and uh, you can make this in groups and you can line up the names and you can make uh, randomization and whatever whatever you want so uh, you can check this game it's a very nice one to uh, grab attention of your students. And the other games are here. You can just see the demo and uh, see the instructions uh, to, to play this game and just follow the instructions and try it with your students. It's a very nice one to use if you want to grab the attention of your students. Okay, that's it about Flippity uh, as another short tutorial. Okay, uh, Flippity and all the applications I'm using right now is for the educator to engage his students. But from the student side, all the students also can play these games. You can, you can make it for yourself and for your groups when you are uh, doing, uh, for example, um, um, when you are playing like, or, or, or you are making a groups of uh, graduation groups or, uh, or, 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 um, selecting one of you to be a representative or whatever so you can use the same games to make um, a fortune wheel or to play other games uh, with your students and make questions and answers and make it and, and play uh, with the with scoring system and make a score your, for yourself and with your colleagues in a closed uh, group um, when you are making like um, uh, a focus group discussion or we are you are playing together uh, or you are uh, learning a, a practical course in media so it could be very effective to to use it also as students so next please yeah mentimeter is a very nice application by the way all the students can use it it's an it's nice to make uh, augmented reality uh, objects Mentimeter is a very nice website that can make augmented reality um, objects and you, and you can see it with your mobile phones. So simply, when you open Mentimeter, uh, by the way, do you know augmented reality? What is augmented reality or not? <laughs> Hello? Hello there. Mentimeter is one of the best uh, websites to make like voting system and uh, polling uh, system. So um, I have been using it uh, in my courses to make voting uh, between students uh, on each other work. So in editing course, for example, um, I get uh, the best uh, three or four projects and I let the students vote, which is the best. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please stop the recording, please. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Mentimeter is not uh, is not uh, the, the augmented reality system, but Mentimeter is a very uh, good application to make uh, like um, a poll. Uh, if uh, if you, um, I have been using it in editing courses, in, in editing course, I've been uh, teaching editing for many years, and uh, I have um, the best students, maybe four or five students. So I make a poll to to make other students see their work and tell who is the best, who is the best uh, trailer, who is the best uh, editing um, video, who did the best editing video. So uh, I make a poll between the students and the students say who is the best among these four or three persons. So uh, this was a very nice one and they engages, uh, engages the students to make uh, their best and to win uh, the prize at the end. So uh, please resume. Video uh, they see. So they vote on one of them and uh, I get the winner and the winner get a bonus or get something uh, extra more than the other students. So I let the students be like uh, uh, audience and they, um, uh, they, they see the movie or they see the trailer the student 
their colleague make, and they vote on it, um, and that's it. So um, just 20 meter, you can use it. In it has many features. It's not a free application or a free website, but you can just use some features uh, for free. Uh, one of the features is the uh, presentation of the winner uh, system and the voting system. So if you want to make a voting system, just uh, click on new presentation and name it whatever you want, the winner, the course winner, for, I would name it the course winner, create presentation. You have many, many features, but I my, the feature I will use is who is the winner, who will win, and I will add three names, for example, and you can add more for sure. Um, maybe I will add Sharif, uh, George, and Sami. Okay. Then I will go here to this feature, open Mento, Menti mode. It's like a remote for voting and the copy voting link to the students, okay? As it, it's copied, I can send it on WhatsApp or on uh, Zoom or whatever, and uh, from a student view, or if he click, if, if he just uh, make the, uh, open the link, it will open with him the three names. If he choose Samir as a winner, so he will just uh, click on this and click submit. That's all, okay? Then um, I will turn back to my presentation and I will click on the course winner and I will click on present and maybe I make like a, 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 a countdown a voting closes after one minute or whatever. But if I want to click enter to see the winner directly, I will click enter and Samir is the winner. So this tool is very nice to make a competition between students and to let them um, make do their best to be the winner in, um, in, a, in a course or, uh, or in a practical course immediate. Uh, thank you so much. And that's it about Mentimeter. You can check also other features in this website. It has a very, very wide features, uh, which is um, some of them are free and some of them are uh, not uh, free. You can check. Okay. So next, please. Mentimeter is one of the best uh, websites no, no, next, please. to make... Next. like voting system and uh, next, polling no, no, next, system. Next, next, next so um, I have... Thank you. So uh, Metaverse application is a very nice one to, as I, as I said before, uh, you can make augmented reality with uh, this application. So um, you can try it as a student, by the way. Try to log in uh, on this Metaverse uh, uh, website. It's called studio.gometa.io. It's not called Metaverse, but it's a studio, a studio as, I, as you see here in the URL. So um, you can try it in, uh, now or, or after the session. And um, you have to download the application from the App Store or from the Google, Google Play and try it. So play, please. Studio.gometa.io is a very nice website called Metaverse. This website is a very nice tool to uh, grab the attention of your students and make a funny uh, augmented reality uh, experience. If you are teaching them about the new technology of virtual reality and augmented reality so they can apply on uh, this free website which is called Metaverse, so uh, just to, all you want to do is uh, just uh, make an account as usual and uh, create experience. Then when you, when you create experience, you have, by the way, you have to uh, get the application on the mobile phone to test 
uh, or to experience the augmented reality with your mobile phone. So um, just as you click on my new experience, you will find this uh, uh, empty uh, template. And just uh, in the middle, you click on it and choose the character or the body that you want to see uh, augmented. So for example, if you want this class classroom to be the the one it will appear uh, on your phone and you can add more slides um, character scene whatever you want you just you can uh, see uh, the tutorials of this website and uh, try other features but the simple the simplest feature is to just um, add um, a maquette or just a small object and see it on augmented reality and just test it. So if you want to test it, just uh, click on test and uh, get the QR code and uh, use it on mobile phone when you uh, download the Metaverse uh, application and uh, you will see this classroom uh, on your mobile phone uh, um, in place. And you will um, you will experience the augmented reality and the object, and you will see you will see it from all uh, the sides and so on. So it's a very nice tool to use and to make fun with your students and to let them experience with the 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 the, the, uh, the concept of augmented reality and the concept of virtual reality also. So it's a very nice tool. Okay. So I've been using this tool when I uh, when I teach my students about uh, augmented reality and they can't understand how uh, could it be. So I try to uh, to let them uh, examine it. So uh, I just uh, as you see, I select an object and uh, sometimes I do an, a three D object by myself because I'm a motion graphic designer and I work uh, in three D production. So I've been using this uh, application and I, I, I use Maya to export uh, an object and add it to this augmented reality uh, website and they can see the, the object rotating and they can see the object from all sides when they use their mobile phone. You, uh, by the way, you can download it and try it uh, anytime and you can make yourself and you can make it by yourself and test it by yourself. It's a very nice one, and you can play it with it after the session. In the lunch time, you can play and try uh, this augmented reality feature. It's a very nice uh, application to use because uh, you will find a maquette or an, uh, an object in front of your camera, like Snapchat and like all the applications we are using nowadays. But you will find a maquette and you, you did it by yourself. So uh, next, please. Studio.gometa.io is a very nice website no, called is. Metaverse. This website is very nice. To Next. Yeah. This is a very important tool. Add puzzle. Add puzzle is a very, very important tool because uh, as I told, as I told you before, I uh, did this uh, asynchronous, um, asynchronous videos, uh, or, or asynchronous learning system by using videos, recorded videos. I have been recorded to myself and using also YouTube videos to elaborate my idea. So um, to make sure that the student is alert and he sees a video to the end, I have to trigger him, and I have to add some questions in the middle of a video. So this or uh, this website uh, makes this feature. You can add like checkpoints in the video and it stops the video at this point and you have you have to you have to answer the question to proceed and to see uh, the rest of the video. So please uh, please um, uh, play a puzzle is one of the very important tools for any educator. So uh, if you want the student to see a video shared with them, whether 
the video is, is from YouTube or the video is recorded uh, from uh, you and you have been uh, recording a lecture and uh, or so on so and you want to uh, maintain the student alert and uh, concentrating to the, your video so you must use Ed puzzle so uh, Ed puzzle do what the puzzle adds questions uh, and uh, checkpoints on the video and then in this a checkpoint uh, you ask a question and the student answer it if he answer it he can resume the uh, video and if he didn't answer it correct he must uh, see, hear again the same part uh, again so let's start and see how it works so uh, if you click on edpuzzle.com you for sure you have to uh, log in and make an account then you go in uh, as a teacher and then you add a content you can add a content by uploading a video or record a video or discover video content which is uh, which is a youtube link uh, and you can just add the link of youtube uh, here so uh, if you have your own content on drive or, or whatever you can just upload it like this drag it from a file or from google drive so any video on youtube can be added so for example if i have by the way head puzzle is connected to moodle and is connected to uh, google classroom and the blackboard and many uh, lms uh, platforms so you can use it uh, easily when you add on moodle for example the link of youtube so um, you can attach it with add puzzle and you can add your class uh, members to add puzzle so your class is uh, as you see create a class or connect to your lms class from moodle or from black or from black blackboard or from canvas or google classroom or google uh, or microsoft teams so you will grab your your class to uh, add puzzle and then you can make a content like this so uh, for me i have chosen uh, this uh, movie and as an example this movie is from youtube uh, it's about 3d workflow pipeline um, actually when it, when it's uh, on youtube you will find others who had the made the ready-made uh, questions before if you want to add your own questions it's up to you and if you want to use some of the questions of others who did um, ready-made questions you can use their uh, your their questions so for example if I'm gonna use the questions of uh, a person called Michael Palmer so I just, just click on this link and here is the check marks of his questions so these check marks if I click the here, uh, it's a multiple choice question. The first st stop in creating an animation is developing a story. Um, maybe if, if we click on true and submit, here you have two options skip or rewatch. So if I submit like this, and this one is right, it's true. So I can continue. Piece of intelligence from the front lines. The Madam video. director. And I can continue to the other, the next checkpoint, which is this one. And so on. Okay. So uh, what if I want to add my own questions? You can uh, see the video. And they go to, part books. to a point of it and add multiple choice question and write here your own questions whatever it is so uh, for example i will write for example um, the uh, the first the first phase after story is storyboard phase or uh, modeling phase okay 
So this is the model answer. I click on right and save. Comic strips. So this is a checkpoint. So do you want this checkpoint to be uh, skipped? Yes. Comic strips. Really just about anywhere. And, uh, we we don't have any that's, that's here and add another question. The same. And I, I will say, for example, uh, storyboard phase is made by artists or editors. For example, this is the right answer. And I will have to say save Order. and so on. I'm adding at each point. I want to add a, a question in it. I will put here a check armature. Or okay. wire. So as I finish, I will click on finish. And this is these are my uh, video events that I added to my video. So to share uh, this one, you have to do to assign. Assign this video, video, this video to a class. If I have a class, it's okay. If I don't have my class, add a new class and connect it to your LMS from Moodle or Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom, and you'll find it uh, in your LMS system that you are working with. Okay, or you can add new class. And the name it uh, is, uh, is name, for example, multimedia class. College art and so on. Just type. And here you can assign the, uh, you can add here your, your, your students and make assignment like this. Just you'll assign it. And you can share assignment. And you can add, copy the link to your students and let them see your video from this link. Okay. That's a very important tool. Okay. Thank you so much. So uh, this tool is very important when I want to make sure that all the students are alert and, can, and seeing my video to the end. So uh, it's a very effective one. And I suggest that you all use, even the students, when you are a student and you want to make a video to your colleagues, so you can use also this uh, tool to make questions and just like uh, uh, grabbing the attention of your, of your colleagues when the, the video stops and he must, uh, um, he must um, click on the question and answer it. So it's like uh, triggering your uh, friend. So please, uh, next. Edpuzzle is one of the very next, important please. tools for any educator. So uh, if you want next. the student to see a video, you share it with them. No, no, However, uh, okay. So uh, the first, the, the, all the tools uh, that I have been using are already made tools um, before. But um, as I told you before, I'm working on uh, my my approach or, or my approach is using the technology in uh, displaying or the display technology. So I have been developing live holographic display for enhancing the telepresence experience. So this is my new approach to use hologram in education. Hologram has been used uh, in theaters and uh, is have have been used in many. Um, um, marketing uh, marketing solutions uh, in holes and uh, and um, um, maybe some um, uh, uh, some some marketing uh, solutions, but it had it had been never used in education. Okay. So uh, I have a personal project of developing live hologram display set to enhance the telepresence experience and how 
can it be applied in universities and in institutions in audio visual labs or rooms so next please uh, this is a prototype of this is a prototype of uh, holographic display i have been doing by myself in my home so please play it So as you see here in this uh, prototype, it's a prototype of, uh, of a holographic display. This holographic display can be applied on any size, can be made on a full body size, or can be made on a very small size, whatever the size you want to make, you can make it in any uh, place uh, with low cost. So um, this this uh, this prototype or, or or the video you have seen is a way when you want uh, the educator to be um, 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 not in the back to back uh, behind the, the glass and you want to see the elements or the presentation flying in the air and the and the, he can um, he can uh, just uh, um, point to uh, right or left or, or down or up and uh, you are in place like like now when you are staying in a classroom and you in, in front of you there is a holographic display set and your your um, your professor is behind the glass and he want to present his presentation he don't have to present it on with, with a projector he can use the holographic display to present whatever he wants and it, it appears around him. So this way of display could be a, a good interaction way with your student or uh, as uh, for learning process. So please, next, next. Uh, um, yes, this is another way so to use you. the hologram. Play, please. It was me today uh, through holographic display, my, my little box and my little uh, test to holographic display through the internet. So, so, Sharon, how are you? Can you say something? Hi, hi, hi everybody, and a uh, warm welcome from Malaysia. If you want to say something to uh, our students and to our educators. Oh, I'm so wonderful. I'm, it's, it's wonderful to be a part of this discussion with Dr. George. I am so glad to be here uh, speaking to you. It is such a, a, an honor and I'm so humbled to be able to share my ideas, my teaching, my research in collaboration with George and in co collaboration with all the educators and all the students uh, in Egypt. Thank you very much for having me. So uh, this way, or this, this is other usage of holographic display. Uh, if I want to um, get a professor or get someone to give me a lecture, so he can, I can get him live, and he can stand up in front of you all and give you a lecture 
if he is not, he, if he is remotely uh, present. So um, for sure, you can use Zoom or you can use any tool to display uh, a video call or video uh, telepresence. But using hologram is another display way that gives you another perspective and another experience uh, or a good experience in education. So I have been working on this project and I'm trying to apply it to many universities to make an audiovisual room with holographic display set and we can use it in many, uh, in many uh, using it in, uh, to do many things with it. However, you can use it to present uh, something or you can use it to grab uh, or get uh, a professor or someone uh, for, from any, any country and make him stand in front of you. Uh, it's a simple way and it's not costly at all and it gives a good experience in education also and in learning system. So uh, next please. So Okay, so these are the main tools I have been using to grab the attention of my students. The fourth, the third uh, or the fourth uh, uh, problem was the fair student evaluation. How to evaluate your student uh, or how, how to evaluate the student um, fair in a fair way uh, if you are with him virtually. So I think uh, one of the most important thing is to make projects, individual and the groups of projects based evaluations with a must is a must of using any multimedia tool. You have to use the projects to evaluate your students. The second thing is to 30% is to use short term, short time digital exams. So digital exams don't get the high uh, the highest uh, score, but the project is the highest score, especially in the practical courses. And 10% only could be on a, is an on a, in a, in a, could be oral exam to um, to get the students um, to know if the student is uh, actually uh, alert or not. So this evaluation system worked with me when it was very good and, and fairly um, evaluated my students in a fair way and, uh, and made the bell-shaped curve uh, very good. So please, next. My recommendations to make good education system. According to a previous study that I have done before about e-learning during the pandemic, I, uh, I recommend the following con uh, con uh, concerning the learning style of practical media courses. Actually, I see from my point that media courses like photography, videography, news production courses could be teached in hybrid way. Hybrid learning online for theoretical and on campus in application and the projects because uh, doing these uh, uh, these subjects need the presence need to use a camera need to use a studio and so on so uh, the theoretical part could be online and when you go to the practical it could be in class or uh, in studio all graphics programs and tools could be teached online only without a lab inside the college but uh, this is if all the students have laptops and their laptops can uh, can work uh, the, the graphics uh, the graphics tools. But uh, if not, so maybe some students who have good uh, laptops can work from home, and the students who don't have good laptops can work from the lab of uh, the of uh, the university. Um, all creative and the script writing courses could be teached online only. Script writing, writing for media, uh, news writing, all related to uh, writing courses can be switched to online only. Even if, even in the pandemic or even after the pandemic. I'm not talking only about the pandemic because the pandemic is it was just a trial to uh, the virtual learning system. But what what whatever happens in the future, uh, pandemics or new pandemics or whatever happens, you can use this approach to make good learning system to your students and to your uh, educator, our education system. So um, these were my recommendations 
And uh, this is my presentation for today about using technology in learning. I have been using, uh, to sum up the, uh, my presentation, I have been using some technological tools or, or short or small tools that I have been using in uh, education to, during the pandemic. And also I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to use the holographic display in universities and to make audio and, vi and video uh, labs to use it uh, as an, a good a new experience in uh, tele telepresence. Uh, and I'm so glad actually to be here with you. I'm sorry for not so being uh, for my language. Maybe it's not uh, good enough. Uh, <laughs> and maybe you, maybe I stuck, stuck a little bit in some words. But I'm so glad to be with you today. Uh, and I'm calling you for sure, for sure from Egypt to come and visit Egypt uh, because uh, Indians uh, come to Egypt a lot. So as you are uh, there and uh, Egypt is opened now, so you can come and visit uh, Egypt. I would be so glad to uh, to welcome you here in Egypt. So thank you so much. I'm, and I'm waiting for your questions. I'm, I would be so happy if you ask me anything you want. Thank you so much, sir, for the wonderful session. Now we, it's a time for the Q&A session. Those, both the participants from online and offline can ask questions if you have any. Do anybody have any questions to ask? So shall we wind up the session? George, sir, shall we wind up the session? What? Um, shall uh, we wind up the session? Can you well? Shall we wind up the session, sir? I, I can't understand what you say. Sir, shall we wind up the session? End up the session? You will yeah. end up the session? Okay. 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 But I have a question to you first. <laughs> have you have you been, uh, as a student, have you been using anything of what I said uh, in this session or not? Never? So, uh, how did you communicate virtually with your uh, doctors? So, uh, one, two, three, four, the four, the fourth uh, line, yeah, the student who is uh, doing this, <laughs> yes, this one, <laughs> yes, you, 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 tell me. <laughs> yes, you, you, yeah. You're doing this. <laughs> the sleepy, the sleepy girl. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Are you there? Can you tell me? Yes, yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> tell me your name. <laughs> What's your name? Gauri. Hello, Gauri. Sir, I don't so, hear. Uh, hello, Gauri. How are you? I'm doing fine, sir. Uh, nice. In what? In which department are you? What's your department? Department. Visual media. Social media. Visual media. Virtual media? Visual media. Virtual. Visual media. Visual media. Yeah, great, great. So you are uh, actually in my specialization. So uh, how have you been learning through the pandemic? How did, you, you, how did your professors um, give, you, give you or, 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 or give you their uh, lectures? Uh, via online lectures. Uh, okay. Online lectures? Uh, 
Teams. What? Teams through Microsoft Teams. Yes. Great. So, uh, have you been um, learning uh, programs like Photoshop, After Effects, Maya, or 3D Max, or Cinema yes, 4D, or whatever? Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, etc., etc. Great. So, uh, do you think uh, do you think it was effective or not? Yes, it was. Uh, it was very interesting and educative. We learned yeah. a lot. So, so what did he use to teach you? Uh, what did he use uh, to teach you uh, these programs? Just, uh, just sharing the screen and showing you the steps, or he did another uh, approaches. Displayed on a screen, and uh, our professor he shows us what how to do it, how to mm. use different applications, and how to make posters, illustrations, how to photo manipulate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so uh, okay, so do you think it's a privilege? It's a good privilege that uh, the, your 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 doctor uh, your doctor is recording his lecture, and you can recall it again and you see it again once again after the lecture. It's, it's recorded, or it's not recorded at all in online learning when it was online when you were online. Were the lectures recorded or not? Uh, yes, sir. Record. Recorded. Right. Sir. Good. So the recorded lectures, you can see it again, right? Yes. So is it good for you or not or not good for you? Uh, it's useful, sir. It's useful? So yes. Okay. So do you think uh, uh, in, in college, the, the lecture is not repeated, right? Yes. Yes, sir. So, do you think it's better to be online in programs, in teaching programs, or offline is better? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, what? <laughs> you, are, you are so cute, Nidhi. You are so cute, by the way. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, before winding up this, uh, we have two more questions. So, uh, hello, sir. Hello. How are you? So I'm good. How What's your name? Vartika. I'm fine. What's your name? Vartika. Vartika. V A R T I K. Vertica. Yes, it's Vertica. Nice, Vertica. Okay, <laughs> nice name. <laughs> you look, you, you look so cute. Also. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. So, uh, my question, sir, I have a question. Can I? Yeah, ask? sure. Yeah, sure. I hear you well. Yes, yeah, sir. sir uh, we learn from you new things, like six things new app. So my question from uh, from Edu Puzzle. Edu Puzzle. Okay. Yeah. So my question is that uh, can we put uh, our uh, comic on that app and um, framing the uh, questions on uh, basis of that uh, comic like that? Uh, comics, uh, video comics, or just the uh, image? Uh, both. No, it, it's uh, Ed Puzzle is for videos. You can upload a video if you make a video by yourself, or you can upload a video from YouTube, or a link, or have any video link from any website that supports video, okay? And oh. then you can add questions to on the video. So when this, when when your friend or your or your colleague sees a video, for example, is if this video is three minutes or four minutes or whatever. So uh, you can put a checkpoint in 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 minute number one, or or the first minute, or the second minute, or the third minute, and you can add this question. So he can't he can't proceed the video without replying to your question and answer it correctly. You can give him you can give him the option 
you can give him the option to skip the question or if it's incorrect he have to correct it or re, re, re or, can, or re, he must see the previous part again to to uh, to uh, to um, uh, what is called to revise it again in his mind and answer the question correctly got it yes so so you can add comic if it's, if, if this comic is on, on youtube uh, comic uh, video you can add a question on it um, for your class or for your colleagues or whatever or you can add also a note it's not only only just for uh, questions only but you can all add also a note uh, for example for example i will tell you an example if you are making a graduation project with your friends okay and you are telling them please guys we need to uh, please guys i'm i'm going to share with you a youtube video and uh, please uh, get this link and this is a video from this link, okay? And you add the note in minute number two, for example. You want them to uh, see something in particular you want to tell them about, like, um, please guys, get get this uh, this wordings and uh, and uh, type it uh, in in papers. The the, the, the wordings of uh, of the video, please write it in paper. So you can add this note as a footnote under the video. So it's not only about questions and answers. It's also we can add note and let your students or your colleagues share uh, share with you, and they can also um, do whatever you want um, through this video. Did I did I uh, reply correctly, or you want other thing? I want you want me to tell you about? No, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So any other questions? Thank you so much, sir. Let's conclude the session. Okay, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be with you today. And I'm waiting for you all in Egypt uh, once uh, you have to collect, to collect yourself and come all together in Egypt uh, once, okay? Sure, thank you. Thank and you so I'm much. so happy, happy to be with you today. Thank you, Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>